Good morning everybody. We are at the Dusseldorf Boat Show. We're going live and today we're going to have a look around the new ML50. And we looked at the ML60 and a couple of years ago we looked at the last model of the ML50. So we're going to come and have a look. Starting at the aft deck, you have your large garage here. Coming into the garage, the aft section of the boat, you can see you have plenty of room for fenders, dive bottles, all your tools, paddle boards. And if you have a look, you can see the section over there for, because this is a, the new ML is a twin rudder, so you've got one section over there to access your rudder quadrants if there's any ever problems. Each one has its own power system for autopilot in case there's a failure of one. So there's always a backup like a male. Just forward here is a crash bulkhead. Just come out of here for a second. As you guys know with our male, You've got your main sheet traveller here, aft, and obviously it gives you better downforce for the boom. Right, we're going to come along the starboard side. You have storage along here. There's a nice built-in section within there still railing for your life raft. Harkin 46 Harkon 60, two-speed electric winches, all self-tailing, as you know, and all your lights, lines, as per normal, come all the way back, and here's your winch controllers. Going to walk all the way forward again. You have your Genoa tracks coming forward. Self-tacking jib. And obviously, if this was fully set up, as we're in the indoor show, there's not a full mast. Um, you have a second shroud over here, and all your lines run down through the deck, or down along here, keeping your decks nice and clear. All the way forward, got your jib furler, Genoa furler, and obviously there's space on the bowsprit for a Code Zero, Spinnaker, etc. Um, beautiful stainless steel bow roller. You can have a double if you wish as part of your options. And then, show you down in here, you have your forward anchor locker just over here. It's an absolute huge locker. And this ingenious bit of kit, that's your bow thruster. Obviously all the mechanics on the inside, it comes up and down. Once again, this section here, just here, this is a crash bulkhead. And for the anchor chain, obviously all this is sealable. So you have two crash bulkheads just in case of problems to keep the boat watertight. Coming down the port side, we'll have a quick look. For the forward cabin, you have two large opening hatches and obviously these hatches are for the heads and when you get inside you'll see there's a nice little um, single cabin over on the starboard side and obviously you have your hatches over the top of the saloon typical ml got your glass hard top windscreen wipers if it's raining and a forward opening window and at the top you've got a couple of opening hatches and all integral it's non-slip um, solar panels on the hard top if this is your first time here please like and subscribe the video put it down below um, as most people know of our mail they always use an in-mast furling system it's effortless sailing especially if you have a problem and when we look in the cockpit you'll understand why coming aft you have access to storage and diesel filling and so on just 
just come all the way back here. Have a large area, sun deck, um, over the roof of the master cabin. It's somewhere really nice once you're anchored up to get a bit of sunshine. And into one of the main features for the Amel line is their covered and protected cockpit. It'll just give you a nice pano all the way around. Lots and lots of space and most importantly, lots of protection. Just spin you around quickly so you can see obviously all the seating something that's really clever and in a minute we'll open it up all your mechanical space and engineering is under here so if there's ever any problems when you're at sea you're in the protected cockpit it's all nice and safe you or your crew continue continue can continue to do what they're doing while you have to do anything with the engine or fuel the Pièce de Résistance for me, the helm station, pilot station for Amel. Okay, over on this side you have your electric throttles for your Volvo Penta engine, windscreen wiper controls. This, as you can see, is for raising and lowering your bow thruster and your thruster controls left and right. Your main furling systems, so you'll find when you switch over on this side, coming over, compass. These are for your winches and furling, so you have your um, Genoa, jib or genera jib here this is the one for your jib and somewhere if i can find it is your main sail main sheets hard top um, anchor chain counter repeaters repeaters nav you can pretty much configure how they have this you can pretty much configure it yourself and as you know with the electronics you can change the screen on um, what information you have here this is all set up with radar as well and just over the companionway once again you have more repeaters wind instruments and more winches right center of the cockpit you have your mechanical space Give me two seconds and the magic of editing will be down in there. Okay, I'm down in the famous mechanical space of Amel. I don't know if you can see, I'm five foot eight, so I'm just, there's enough room just for my head. We'll come and give you guys a really good look. I'm just gonna spin you around quickly. Over here you have the diesel tanks. You can see the flow. Coming through, looking this way, have your master vault systems, and then up. You got your heating expansion tank for the heating. Everything's really well marked. Everything's really labelled, which is good for me because I feel a bit lost in here at the moment. Spinning you round, genset inverter, water maker generators just here this is such a clean space uh, air conditioning units compressor over on this side um, all your flow valves water filter you have your fuel cleaning system here and the engine so you can see for the shaft, because the male is still shaft driven, which is brilliant. And you can see your Volvo engine here. All your oil filters, um, fan bells, everything's really easy to get to. It's a D, as you can read, I don't have to tell you, it's a D3 150, 150 horsepower um, Volvo Penta. 
fire extinguisher in case of any problems and it's all automatic extinguishing. I shall climb out of here if you don't mind. Here's your 360 view all the way around. So you know where you are exactly. I want to say a special thank you to two viewers. I won't mention their names for privacy on here, but thank you very much. It was lovely meeting you at the Dusseldorf um, Boat Show and hopefully we can connect again in the future. On the port side, you have switches and your climate control over here. And as with them out, there is storage here. Lovely nav station and two-seater couch. Your 230 volt system, all your switches, everything's lovely labeled. And then over here, everything for your navigation lights, water, fuel, um, master vault, electric system there to see how you're going. You have mains plugs, A, B and G repeater down here. You can have um, another screen for your navionics and radar. Um, you know, it's, it's when you're buying one of these boats, you can pretty much ask for, for anything you want. And up here is your 24 volt system little nav table for paperwork and so on and more storage aircon units and heater system units under the seats um, there is space for spare freezers this table obviously folds all the way out and for one of my subscribers because I always say about the carpentry and the joinery it's pretty good, all solid wood, lovely stainless steel hinges to put it out. Obviously you have bars either side and the table can flop over. So it gives you a really large table to seat eight, 10 people. Have a nice party in your brand new ML. <clears throat> okay, before we do the galley, we'll come forward on the port side. port side heads which is day heads and it's also can be the heads for the VIP electric flush it's Corian worked or everything's been lovely it's just every time I come on an email it's the experience is fantastic um, great faucets obviously once again you have your climate control uh, electric switches, heated cupboards, this here will give you access to, you know, your pipes and so on. Nobody really wants to see that. And then a very large separate shower, self-draining for you or your guests. And to give you an idea of the height, so it's every time I'm five foot eight and it's, <laughs> you know, it's it's huge. I had a friend of mine come round, have a look yesterday. I've got another friend coming round today. Lars is six foot three, six foot four, and he had no problem um, with the height of his head. For all you lovely mirror people. Hello. Right, we'll come out of here. And we'll go into the forward port side cabin. You don't have to have it as a bunk cabin. You can have a, a single bed in here if you want. I think it's a really nice space for kids. Or if you have a skipper with you, have two bunks, obviously. There is ventilation up here. You have plugs and USB charging. Let's see if we can open a little bit of storage in the bilge. 
pop out of there and then we'll come forward into your guest cabin or VIP cabin. Okay, give you a nice pano when you're actually in here. See the amount of light and space. I would love to be a guest on Animal. <clears throat> this would be a very... Oh! <clears throat> I'd love to be a guest on Animal. This would be a very lovely space. To spend my time. These are the two opening hatches you saw from the deck. Nice and big and they open well, all the way, plenty of ventilation. You've got two lovely port side windows and there's one, two, three, four storage compartments overhead. I'll open one so you can see. So there's your open overhead. And if anyone's interested, this bar here, and there'll be one in the master cabin, with the email story you'll see on this door if there's ever a major problem this door it's actually a, a sealable door so you close the door pop your bar in there and twist it and twist it to hold the doors tight so it becomes a, a watertight section you obviously have storage under the floor under the bed and there's a cupboard over this side. So we'll come out of here. TV on hydraulics, so go up and down. This we've explained before with the bar, so when you're at sea, it will actually lock off your drawers here. So nothing opens, none of your crockery smashes. You have storage. I love their longer chilled galley. I think they're excellent when they're actually down alongside the boat as it is on the 50s on the starboard side. Induction hob, oven, gibbled stove, obviously. And then almost mirroring the 60, you have bottle storage here. There is storage up behind here at the television and cupboards all the way through. And just to give you an idea from the galley round to the salon, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten overhead compartments for storage. And obviously, all these under the floor here too. So going off on a long journey isn't a problem. We showed you this on the 60, and I'll show you it on here. It's a very clever little trick. Up in the cupboard, you have a drawer. I come around this side, and if you're short like me, if you look underneath, it's clear so you can actually see what you've got stored in there. Lock it off. You have an option for a washing machine if you want. This one has a dishwasher down along here. Lovely fiddles on the Corian worktop. And obviously they go on all the sections. There is a coffee machine hidden in one of these cupboards somewhere. You have your drawer fridge systems, microwave oven, glasses, etc. Now we're going to come into the aft cabin, the master cabin. Probably one of the most comfortable places on the boat. just give you a nice pan out so you get an idea of some of the space and light and the volume in this 50 foot is incredible 
Starting over on the port side, we have two large hanging lockers. Beautiful big port light. Obviously all the port lights have integral blinds um, and obviously with the hatches like these two aft hatches they have privacy blinds or mosquito nets. More large storage down along here. Your climate control switches are over here. You have plugs, USB chargers, switches and if you can see there are sections over here so if you need to put a lee cloth in and over on the other side you can. I'll just put a quick bit of b-roll from the, when we went around the 50 of the handy little gadget um, the see-through uh, window for the propeller. If you think it's a good idea or not let me know in the comments below. And then coming over to the port side you have a nice little chair uh, desk it's your vents for heating and more storage down here and once again as I said you have you know USB charging mains plugs beautiful beautiful fittings everywhere and this one's panelled out with different shades of leather it's been done absolutely beautiful I think it's just when you look at the, the stitching, the craftsmanship of these boats is exceptional, absolutely exceptional. Coming into the heads on the port side for the owners, uh, electric flush, once again really nice Corian work surfaces, beautiful stainless steel. Um, faucet, you know, everything for your soap bottles. This is all done in Korean. Squeaky board there. Here's your washing machine if you so desire. Actually, another cabinet for towels and things. That's really annoying. And the master shower, self draining, obviously. I'll get in, give you an idea, there's loads of room, <laughs> loads of room in the shower and once again, you know, I mean it's just the space, they're made for everybody, especially tall people, which is really really handy, just flip you around really quickly and over this side the owners have a, a television in here and really nice arrangement of shelves let me give you if you want a nice look of the galley coming forward I asked you on the last video on the ML60 if we had the opportunity to go out and test one what would you prefer the 50 or 60 it was unanimous that everybody said the ML50 so sometime before April we're actually going out they've offered to take us out for a day sale to test it in some reasonable weather so we can actually see what these boats are relatively capable of how comfortable it's going to be at sea and how easy it is to manage the systems so if you have any questions anything you want us to do on that test sail um, systems you want us to test let us know in the comments below thank you guys for watching uh, it it helps I think you're amazing all my subscribers it, it's just brilliant we're I'm just overwhelmed with your generosity thank you see you again see you on the flip side